Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Friday update. Today is Friday, May 7th, and we're really glad the month of May is here. And uh, I'm really glad and thankful for all those of you who were able to make it to our National Day of Prayer gathering last night. Um, thank you for praying for America, whether you are here or at home, and praying for our leaders. Uh, it was It's necessary that we do that, plus we're being obedient to God and His Word when we do that. So thank you uh, for praying for our country. Let's keep it up. Amen. Let's continue to pray. Uh, for our leaders, for our president, for our nation, for revival and spiritual awakening. Uh, this weekend, uh, several things going on, big things even. Uh, Saturday morning is men's basketball, and then Sunday morning uh, we'll come together for our Mother's Day services. I'm real excited about that. Of course, we're going to continue our Road to Holiness emphasis this Sunday. But in addition to that, uh, we want you to come and bring your moms this weekend. And we want to welcome them, we want to honor them, we want to recognize them here in our services. And we got some things for them. Uh, first of all, every family is going to receive a free 5 by 7 And so we encourage you to come, uh, have your picture taken. We'll have a place all set up upstairs here uh, where you can come bring your family. And so beginning a half hour before each service and then continuing after each service is when our photographer will be up here uh, taking pictures. And so uh, bring your family. Uh, Come ready to have your picture taken, and uh, every mom gets a, 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 a gets a picture as well as every family. And even if you don't, that, that's not important to you, and that's fine. We'd ask you to get your picture taken. We want to update our church directory this year uh, in the next few months, and so uh, we want to make sure we have your picture, updated picture, in there. And so thank you for doing that. That's very helpful. Uh, but also, boy, this Sunday as well with our Mother's Day services, uh, we'll have a baby and family dedication. We have eight babies. To dedicate and we got some folks getting baptized and joining the church it is just going to be a great morning and so we hope to see you this Sunday morning for our Mother's Day services at 8 30 and 10 30. Uh, next weekend is our men's and women's uh, May activities on Friday night is the women's around the fire fellowship that will be at 7 p.m. and on Saturday morning is our men's uh, Bible study and breakfast and followed by followed by basketball on Saturday morning so that's May 15th and that begins at 7 a.m. So uh, men and women, I hope you can take advantage of these. Uh, each of these will probably be taking a break here soon in the summer. So take advantage while you still can and we're glad that we can have that fellowship. A week from Sunday is what we call Next Generation Sunday and a part of that service, our services, will include our recognition of graduates. And so if you have a high school graduate or if you are a college graduate, please let us know. We want to include you in our recognition uh services as we just say congratulations to all our graduates and we'll be doing a lot of other things in our services that morning as well. So we're excited looking forward to Next Generation Sunday. A little bit down the road uh, is Memorial Day weekend of course and we'll be just having one service that day so just want to kind of give you a heads up now several weeks away but at 10 30 only on Memorial Day weekend. Now I have a special announcement that we're going to make on Sunday but because you're watching Friday the Friday update we're going to let you be the first in on the ground floor. We announced back in January that what we wanted to do here in 2021 is completely overhaul and update our nursery. As you know, we have a number of families that are getting ready to have children. In fact, we have a, one of our ladies right now that uh, she's due anytime. I imagine by Sunday morning, I'll be announcing a birth. And so uh, she's one of a, a, a number of, of women who are having babies. And so I know our next baby dedication in November is going to be full. Praise God. Uh, but in the meantime, so we want to let you know that beginning J June 1st, we're going to start the overhaul. We're going to take two weeks and set that room aside and completely change the whole thing. Uh, the furniture, the flooring, the, the, uh, the, the paint on the walls, literally everything. New toys, everything. And so we want you to know that. We're excited about it. If you have questions, uh, you can see Ben Kleinfeld, our operations coordinator. And if you have suggestions about that, or maybe you, maybe you have a way to help us get it done, thank you. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, we're looking forward to getting that done here, Lord willing, by mid-June. So just about a month and a half away. Uh, if you would like to give toward that project, uh, just uh, designate on your giving envelope a nursery, and uh, we'll put that toward the project. Thank you if you felt, feel so led to do that. But we're just excited to get this ready, not only for our new babies, but for all people who come to our church, new families that are coming. Uh, we have new families that are coming, and they have children, they have babies, and so this is a really good time to do this, and thank you for helping us get it done. 
With that in mind, I want to leave you with a verse, and it is 2 Corinthians 3.17, our verse from uh, the National Day of Prayer this week. The verse says, Now the Spirit, the Lord is Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, or there is liberty. And uh, thank God that we have freedom and liberty through the Holy Spirit of God, through Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. For Fellowship Community Church, thank you for all that you're doing in, in, in our lives, God, and in many people's lives, God, as we pursue holiness as a congregation. And Father, we pray that you'll continue to make us holy so we may be used of you, uh, Lord, to share the gospel and to be a gospel witness in this community and beyond. Lord, thank you for all the families, Lord, that you're bringing to our church. Thank you, God, for um, children who will be dedicated this Sunday and uh, people that we will celebrate who have recently come to faith in Christ. Father, we're just, we're just excited about what you're doing. You are definitely on the move. And we pray that you will continue to be working in our hearts and lives and on the move spiritually here in our church and in this community. We give these things to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for watching today. Lord willing, we'll see you Sunday and have a great Mother's Day weekend.